Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. All right. No pushing, no shoving. Yep. You need to hear this. Important messages on the way. Lydia's probably stuck somewhere. That's what I'm thinking. Like this guard. This guard is stuck in the wall, and this door is a double door. See? Look at me, people. Look at me. Nobody. Nobody. Paul. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. All right. What is this? It's a ghost. There are truly ghosts down here. Yeah. Don't give me that look. Wow. All right, I got a mod that spruces this place up somewhat nicely. Look at this. I mean, really, it looks like a rat hole. Normally. Like, this bridge isn't here. You got to walk around this way every time. And if you go that way, it can't go that way. You got to walk around that way. But we got a mod, probably one of the JK's mods, that has made this place look, well, mostly look pretty good. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I'll have some of that. And there's a board. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Sorry, we're missing the conversation because that broad just. Things are changing. Dying breed. Well, what do you call that then? A what? A who? What's it? Oh. Me. Call me impressed, lass. Really? I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Well, uh, getting here was, you know, pretty easy. Reliable and headstrong? Yeah. You're turning out to be quite the prize. Cool. Oh, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Mm. They owe our organization some serious coin. Okay. And they've decided not to pay. Uh-oh. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Well, sounds good. Who are they? Hirava, Bercy Honeyhand, and Helga. Really? Get this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Do I really want a permanent place in your organization? That is the question. All right, how do you want me to handle it if I decide to do so? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. Okay. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A <laughs> word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Well, and the and the debts that they actually do owe that you were just going on that you really wanted because it was a considerable sum of money. Um, hey, am I going to get a cut? Of course you'll get a cut. <laughs> we take care of our own. Uh, now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Okay. Get going. I want details. Any tips about Kariva? She's the one that owns the inn, if I'm not mistaken. Kirava's stubborn. Kirava. But she's got a soft spot for family. Okay. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb. Right. And see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Okay. Any help with Bercy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Oh, no. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. All right. I mean, these are all the good people in Riften. <laughs> What's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes oh. over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Alrighty then. Okay, that's all we need I'll to know. Here when you're done. Fantastic. Hey, by chance, any of you seen a Lydia hanging around? She's pretty unmistakable. Everybody knows Lydia from Skyrim, including you characters that are part of Skyrim. And this gal over here who so rudely interrupted me. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the, the, the facelift gal. Yeah, I don't really care. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Vex, of course. Vex ought to tell us... Well, let's wait until we are... Um, a full-fledged member of the Thieves Guild before we talk to Vex. Because she knows something about them uh, things that we're carrying around. These... these these heavy, heavy, heavy things that there are like 24 of them or something to that effect around Skyrim and we got to find them all 
before they're worth anything. Oh, we need some healing. Okay. Lydia! Nope. Oh my. This is probably not a good situation. I hope Lydia's not dead. Uh, could do some things to find out, but we're not going to do that on the cameras because uh, you can figure out how to do those things yourself just by Googling them. All right. I wouldn't use Bing. Google, Google pretty much knows all the things. It's occasionally wrong, but not all the time. I will have that. Thank you. And that one. Did I miss twice, or is it just they bounced off this guy? Because he had orcish arrows on him. And... What is that? There is a bow freaking out in the floor. Okay, well, I know how to handle that. We can just take it. I'm overweight now. Uh, is there any junk I can get rid of? Mostly it's the, the, the dragon stuff. I don't need a fox pelt. I really don't. Ice wolf pelt. Don't need that. App of Dragon Burials. Could use that. Haven't even looked at it, to be honest with you. <gasps> no! Give me that back! Stupid thief. Give me that! Well. Alright. We gotta drop some junk. Uh, Camping supplies. We could probably drop that. I want that. We could drop this, because it's not really worth anything. We need those. Oh boy. Do I got any weapons I really don't want? Fishing rods we can get just about anywhere. Let's drop that. Okay. That's gonna help. Yep. We're, we're under. And hopefully we will find a Lydia somewhere. That guy, he might want to do some fishing. Yo. Hey, uh. Hunan? Black Skeever? What a name. There's a fishing rod back here behind you. Here, you, uh, here I'll put it even closer to you. Here, right there, I'll put the handle right in the fire to keep it warm for you, okay? Good job. He did not want to fight after his buddy died. Well, I don't really blame him. All right. We're going to head into the bee and the barb and get some rest. Because it is dark out. It's gloomy, it's cloudy, it's nasty. We are, um, we are a bit saddened. Because the Lydia has abandoned us. Come see me in the market if you're looking for the finest custom jewelry in all of Skyrim. All right, I'll do that. Can't you bother me at my armor stand in Just the market? Just get the crap out of my way! Get out of my way! <laughs> all right, we we can talk to him about the stuff. We can talk to her about the stuff. But right now, we just want a room. What are you doing that for? Not sure what I did. I don't know what here I did. For a room or something to drink? Yes, I'd like a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Oh, maybe Lydia's caught well, in the room. See us again. Lydia, dear, are you stuck in the room? No. I don't know where she went. All right, what time is it? Oh yeah, that's time to sleep. Let's get a good eight hours in, and then we're gonna have to find Lydia. <laughs> Wait. almost forgot. Uh, let's get some health going. And probably ought to do speech or more sneakage. Or light armor or one-handed. Let's do a little more sneak. That's already there. That needs to be 45, so we can't do that. Muffled movement, we've already got. How about this next one? Requires 40. Oh, we can't do both of those. Light foot won't trigger pressure plates. Yes, thank you. Lovely. That one's lovely. Lydia level leveled up, so that means she's living at least. Just not here. All right. I'm going to take a quick break here. Oh, but I had to have something to eat. I was actually hungry, and I've been cooking um, something for... Uh, uh, it's been a minute. I finally have that. I am well fed. Fantastic. Um, so decided it. I needed to eat. And we need to find Lydia. Can I have that? No, I can't have that. 
All right, let's talk to Buddy Boy here. Taylor, what do you got to say for yourself there? What do you want? How did you meet Kareva? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. Aww. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Is that In right? In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. You can't just give her some bugs or something? I mean, you are lizards. I, I, bugs would be... I think... Never mind. I, maybe I can find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. Okay. I thank you. You're quite welcome. Um, can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian <laughs> wedding proposal ban is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. Okay. One for the husband, one for the wife. Yeah, I get that. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity oh. that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Alrighty. Uh, we'll cover these two at a later date after we find his Excuse me. I amethyst. Other things to attend to. But I think the one doesn't have a whole lot to do with the other. Can I steal some stuff yet? No. Well, let's go deal with the other things first. Maybe we'll find Lydia in the process. This guy's still sitting here. That's just creepy. 24-7, he's sitting on this bench trying to figure out what the crap he's going to do after he screwed up so bad. By getting mixed up with the Thieves Guild. Alright. There are the galas in here. Helga's bunkhouse. There she is. And if we just come over here and steal that. Hi. Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. I have a message from Brynjolf. You. You yep. have my statue. I do. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to drop it down a well. Not Lady Debella. No, please. I can't lose her. Then pay up. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> uh, can I have that? Oh, I can't have that gold, too. Well, here's your statue. I'll give it back now. I really don't want it. I have enough crap weighing me down. Where'd it go? Uh, oh, did she take it? I think she took it. There was a message that I paid zero attention to. Until next time. Sweet Helga, last night was the most wonderful night of my life. The things you showed me, the things we did, I could never have dreamt that it was possible. Who even knew that someone could manipulate their body? In that manner, while wearing Daedric armor boots. You are a true master of the Debellan arts, my love. A credit to your religion. Perhaps we'll meet again soon, but next time, allow me to bring it. Bring the trout. Yeah, your secret lover. What's a trout got to do with it? I'm going to steal that. You don't mind, do you, Helga? I didn't think so. Hi, dear. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. I bet. Do you work here? Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. <laughs> I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Poor girl. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. Ew. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? <laughs> so now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Hmm. Why do you hate Helga so much? It's not just the work. It's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? Mm. What kind of woman would do such a thing? Well, just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. <laughs> there must be a way. Actually, there is. Well, but I don't think I could get away with doing it. Uh. She'd kill me if she found out. Well, I can do it. You see, I happen to know after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection called a mark of Debella. <laughs> if you confront her with three of the marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Would she really be embarrassed? I'm not so sure of that, but I, I'll help. I'll be happy to help. Oh, this is going to be great. Isn't it? You need to get the marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgreer, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Okay. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Fantastic. All right. 
Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. Yeah. I, well, I don't think I'll die. Uh. Oh. I think that's a miscellaneous thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we have one flawless thingy. I just noticed. I kind of saw it. And it's foggy. Lydia! Where are you, my dear? Lost forever. Hi. You in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Sure. Are you a fisherman? Only the best in all of Riften. Is that so? My own Riften fishery. Oh, nice. I started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. You don't say. Not bad for a middle-aged nor, eh? Hey, that's not bad. That I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. Mm. And even Nor thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. Do you know? Uh, who buys all your fish? I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markarth. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. If you're headed that way, I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. It's gonna take a long, long while for me to get this done, but I'll do it. Good. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. All right. Here you are. Fantastic. You sound quite charitable. Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? I have. Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. Mm -hmm. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. Okay. You mentioned Nevernor? It... Nivnor? Nevernor, I think it was... Uh, whatever. Nivnor is my wife. Aha! How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature... Is one of life's mysteries. Okay. We're at odds about my charity. Ah. Uh, she thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. Not wrong. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. <laughs> yeah. Different strokes, eh? Yeah, that's, uh, that's women for you. <coughs> I didn't say that out loud, did I? <coughs> Sorry. My apologies. My wife likes shopping. She does. My wife's the same way. <laughs> she likes her thing is shoes. Anyway, uh, Helga gave you a mark of the Bella. I can I have it? I have no idea oh, what I you're know. talking about. Uh, yeah. I'd never sleep with anyone besides my wife. Oh, of course not. I was not implying anything. But you know, if, if you happen to have one, you could just give it to me, and no one, no one has to know. Hand what over. I have no idea what you're exactly. About. Oh. <clears throat> well, never mind. My mistake. Oh, boy. Uh, Give it to me or else. Look, it was one night, okay? I think she slipped something in my drink. Maybe. I, I haven't even been back to the bunkhouse since. Good for you. Just take this damn thing. I never want to see it again. I'm sorry. I didn't really want to intimidate you, but it was the only way to get the mark. Remember to give at the temple. Ah, uh, Okay. All right. Not even sure where the temple is. It's in town here. I know that much. I think it's up in there. I believe this is it? Yes. Shall we give it the temple? Is there a place to give it the temple? Probably inside? Keep hoping to see it. Here at all... <laughs> As I open a door. Shrine of Mara. We gotta donate 100 gold for that. Maybe that's how we give. Okay. Or is there a... Oh, it's pr maybe that. We're not gonna steal from that. Well, let's go ahead. Let's make an offering. We got gold to spare. It's fine. <clears throat> Fantastic. Okay. I gifted 100 gold. lot more than my usual charity of giving a gold piece to a beggar on the streets. What time is it? It's like lunchtime. 
Where the crap are all the... Oh, they are out here. I just did not see them. Of course. Okay. Um. Alright, I guess we're going this place next. Which is... The prawn... Pond prawn... The pond... And yeah. Um. Lots of good stuff up in here, including that thing. Hi. So, can I interest you in anything today? Your shop has a most unusual name. Catchy, isn't it? Mm. In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping up on you. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Seemed only fitting to name it after her. Well, changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Mm. Coming to this city was a big mistake. Mm. <laughs> the question is, what isn't wrong with Rifton? <laughs> this city is corrupt. Rotten to the core. <laughs> no one cares about anything except themselves. And how much coin they can make off the misery of others. Yeah. Maybe you should speak to the authorities. Authorities? <laughs> Have you been listening to what I said? Yeah. They're all dirty. Yeah, I know. Every one of them. The only way to get things done in this city is to keep your head down and pay off the right people. Right, right. Okay. Um. I have a message from... Uh, I don't know if we should smash I... the thing first, so let's do a quick save. And then hopefully this will work out. I have a message from Brynjolf. What? Oh, it's one of you people. <laughs> so Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? Apparently not. What's this message? Uh, simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk, and everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. I know, but that's changing. We can protect ourselves. Trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Yeah. Mm. I've... I think you need to shut your mouth. <laughs> then I gotta brawl them? I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do. So I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Oh yeah? What if I smash your thingy over here? I can't believe you're doing this. Stop! Ah, oh, your precious vase over here, huh? No! You're going to break it! What do you say now? I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf you'll just have to make do without my coin. You're just making me do it. Please, I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn! I done destroyed it. It's in pieces. You gonna pay now? No! That urn was priceless! Well... There, I mean, there's plenty of them around. It wasn't that priceless. You want me to break anything else? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold and leave me in peace. <laughs> well, it's not the way I really want to make money, but... <gasps> what is this? An apology? Percy. I got your last request, but there's no way I'm going to near Shroud Hearth Barrow. I know that the trinkets from the Nordic Boroughs sell quite well, but it isn't worth getting killed. You probably think I'm crazy, but I am certain that this place is haunted, and I refuse to become another victim of whatever lies in there. Oh, sorry, old friend, Wilhelm. Uh, isn't, uh, hmm... Percy, the gal in the uh, inn over there, if my memory serves me correctly, which it probably isn't. But we're going to steal this. You don't mind there, buddy. Do you? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Any more? Ooh, look at this. I would have thought that was more worth more than the thing. I think. Fabulous. A little more coinage. Okay, one more stop to make on this little black briar metery. Seriously? What the? Oh. 
I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? Ah! Helga gave you a mark of Debella. Can I have it? You're crazy. I know. How dare you make such an accusation? I, such a such a thing. Hand it over and no one has to know. You aren't making any sense. Oh, Hand come on. Over. I right. Uh give it to me or else. If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Probably. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. Alright. I don't care about the rest right at the moment. Good. Now maybe I can get back to work. Get back to work then. What are you standing around talking to me for? And to be read immediately. Well, I mean, if it says so, notice to all employees. It's come to my attention that the last batch of Blackbriar Private Reserve was simply our standard Blackbriar mead placed in the incorrect bottles. <laughs> we sold six cases of Private Reserve recently, and they were all returned. To make amends, I, we've replaced the cases with the correct supply at our cost. Due to this blunder, the cost of those cases will be removed from this month's wages. What do you think you're doing? I... I don't know. By order of the Jarl, stop right there. Um... You caught me. I'll pay off my bounty of one gold. Smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. Dang, man, but I got a lot of stolen goods on me. Yeah, of course. Gold removed. Oh, did I get to keep the rest of my stolen properties? No! Son of a gun! Oh, mostly it was food. Now ah, they took it! Uh, what's our weight now? Yeah, see, it dropped pretty... <laughs> Quite a lot. <sighs> we had gotten some good stuff in there. Did they take a bunch of our gold too? I don't even know. Um, where's gold? Somewhere in here. It's right in front of my face, and I'm not seeing it. Oh well. Oh uh, well. <sighs> That's what I get. She disappeared. Well, I think she entered that building over there, but I'm not entirely certain. Did we get all three of the things already? Uh, journal. I hear another. Oh, Riften Stable. Okay, we gotta go over there. I wish I knew where Lydia was at. She has not shown up yet. She does not bode well. Maybe if we uh, hop on the cart and take it to someplace else. She'll suddenly show up. Because she has been missing since I exited Riften on that, that middle gate that over on that side. We're not going to run over there and find out. And I haven't seen her since. Huh. Alright, let's go talk to uh, this guy over here. Where is he? Oh, he's in the in the building. Can I get in here? What was that? Nothing. There he is. Hofgerer Horse Crusher. What a name. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Must be dangerous living outside the walls. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. <laughs> walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Oh. Uh -huh. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms in all of Skyrim. I bet you're wrong. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. Oh, no. Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I could beat you in a fist fight. You match the bet, and we fight until one of us gives in. Well, it's gold. Sure, I'll match your bet. All right, remember. This is a clean fight. No weapons, no tricks. And none of those fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Huh? I gotta put them gloves on. Back. No tricks, but... Didn't say anything about this. Damn you. Oh, look at the damage it's doing. Alright, one more. 
Is that it? You give up? <laughs> Pay up. I don't believe it. I guess you were right. I hope you aren't angry. Not at all. 200 gold. It's good to be put Sweet. in your place once in a while. I guess I shouldn't boast so much. It gets expensive. <laughs> hey. You've been a good friend to me. Thank that you. Means something. So, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to bring it up because it's usually embarrassing, but Helga gave you a mark of Debella. Y you wouldn't mind giving it up, would you? Huh? What are you talking about? I don't I even know what that is. I mean, we're friends and all. How about you just hand it over as, as a friend and no one has to know? I don't want a bad reputation in Riften, but Helga's out of control. She Fine. wanted to try it in the stables, so I said yes. <laughs> If you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. Helka, what a, what a woman! <laughs> uh, how did you come to be known as Horse Crusher? Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. And one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Oh no! I haven't ridden since. Oh, okay. Sad tales. Sad tales. Uh, eh. Well, we can do the others anytime we want. It's fine. All right, then. Thank you. Can I steal your uh, salmon steak? I can. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, sweet roll! Minor healing. Some cabbage. And I can cook some stuffs. Rabbit haunch. Okay. Uh, how about some vegetable uh, soup? Excuse me. Leeks. I need leeks. Does he got any butter or leeks in here? Um. What's in the barrel? Leeks? No. Soap pile, though. I will have those. Like a goat. They're really heavy. No leeks. Well, that's a shame. No butter either. What's in here? Open Skyrim. Open door. Uh -huh. Search chest. Ah, it's empty. I should pay attention to these things. Green apples. I don't care. Well, nothing else. We increase our lot. Picking skills. Oh, other way. There we go. Oh! Sorry there, friend. The gold shininess just tempts me too much. I gotta take it. 